Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. We are so excited to welcome back one of our favorite guests. You might remember her as the author of the cookbook United We Eat. Well, today she's back with, you know, something new and exciting, kind of relating to food because it's a podcast called Eat Your Heartland Out. Now, that's something I feel like I'd say I love in the it. South. <laughs> It's Capri Kafar. Capri, good to see you. Good morning. Hey, absolutely. Good now, morning. Thanks for having me back. Capri, yes. we have your book right here. Now, I always like to look through just to get ideas for dinner. And one, I want your opinion on this because I want to make this so bad. It's the Rainier Cherry and Ginger Glazed Salmon. This is right up our alleys. Is this a good one to make, Capri? It is. It is one of my absolute favorites. It is one of my recipes, not one of the contributors' recipes. So I can swear by it. It's a great, sweet, Tart yet, you know, uh, rich flavor, very fresh. Go for it. We should make that on the show. We should, what if we make it on the show? We'll send you the clip in our review. How about that? Hey, bring me, bring me back, and and I'll I'll help you out. Virtually. Oh, perfect. Would <laughs> <laughs> kind of lead us through it. I think, yeah, she needs to talk us yeah, through so we don't make mistakes. Us, absolutely. Happy to. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we do things where we change the recipe. We won't do that. We promise. We promise. We want to do Capri. it just like you have it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you know, we're used to seeing you in your kitchen, but you know, along the lines of food. You have a new podcast. Can you tell us about that? Yes, and I'm so excited to tell you about it. Much like a, a, much like United We Eat, uh, a cookbook that tells um, our nation's story a bit through food, all 50 states. Eat Your Heartland Out is a podcast that's telling the Midwestern story through food. I'm a Midwestern native, as I think you all know, from the state of Ohio. And so Eat Your Heartland Out, which is uh, from Heritage Radio Network. Heritage is basically the leading uh, um, organization that produces culinary related audio content. Mm -hmm. And this is all about the intersection of food and, and culture in the American Midwest. And there's a lot of Missouri throughout our episodes, I'll tell you that. Yes, we are Midwesterns too. I love that. And you know, I have to say, there are a lot of things that we personally, I'm speaking for myself, don't know. Um, you know, I, I was born in Ohio, grew up in Missouri, but there's a lot I don't know about the history. Oh, there's, I have learned so much, and that's really what this, what this was all about, was to try to bring the story of the Midwest to a larger audience, but also to try to, you know, show that how diverse the Midwest is, whether it's indigenous cultures, uh, you know, the, the rich immigrant populations that we have here, and all of the different types of things that, that we produce, all of our traditions. I mean, there are some really interesting stories that I, you know, you get really attached to the different people that, you know, you... Um, interact with and that you listen to as, as part of the listening audience. And so, for example, I actually just did a whole episode on Ozark cuisine, which I knew nothing about until I interviewed a, a gentleman who opened up a restaurant um, near St. Louis, and he was committed to trying to tell the story of Ozark cuisine uh, through a restaurant. So you're getting everything from, again, indigenous-inspired, African-American-inspired, Appalachian-inspired, foraging, all of this history just on your plate. And that's just one example of the type of stuff that we cover. I'm wow. fascinated by this because, mm -hmm. Capri, we've had people on the show who are from different regions of the country. Mm -hmm. The West Coast, the East Coast, the North, the South. And something that I might call a dish, they have different names for it mm -hmm. across the yes, country. They do. And their own yep. variations. Have you learned anything more about that? Like, I call it tater tot casserole, <laughs> but the North calls it something else, yeah. you know? Right, well, and the hot, it's like, you know, Minnesota calls it the hot dish. Well, obviously, we have pop versus soda, which is a big one, yeah. and then sauce versus gravy, which is a big New York versus Chicago thing amongst the Italians. So there, there is a, a lot of that stuff out there. And I think a lot of things that may surprise people, did you know that you make wine in Missouri, for example? I, I had a great opportunity to interview somebody mm -hmm. that runs the uh, Herman Wine Trail. I guess Herman is about two and a half hours away uh, from the Springfield area. Wine, Missouri, Kansas, mm -hmm. um, Need cider. I mean, there's so much out there that we do, um, and we're also welcoming a lot of refugee communities uh, throughout the Midwest as well. And many communities are utilizing food to empower refugee women and um, let you know the the uh, communities that are already living in these areas, um, like Milwaukee, for example, or Kansas City, using food to uh, educate the communities about these these new uh, ethnic groups that have come in. I love this. Uh, St. James, Missouri has a whole winery there. There, Yeah, there's lots of wine here in Missouri. You know what? This is the way a lot of people can learn about our nation. I love it. Who doesn't eat? Everybody eats. I love your idea of bringing food together and teaching people about the nation and about history. It's amazing. 
I, I'm really excited. I'm glad you guys are too. And we're the most excited to announce here publicly, I think for the first time, that PRX, the Public Radio Exchange, has uh, now picked up uh, Eat Your Heartland Out. So it is available to public radio affiliates across the country if they choose to make it part of their programming. So we are uh, cautiously optimistic that uh, Midwestern uh, NPR affiliates will be excited to put this as part of their schedule. That Capri, point. that's awesome. So, mm-hmm. so is have you launched it? Is it out? Can people listen to it now? What's the easiest way? Oh, yes. Way? It, is, it is out. We have been, uh, so you can get it on, on Apple iTunes, on Spotify, any place that you get podcasts. There's tons of episodes already out there. PRX on the public radio side, they, that is a sort of new in, endeavor. So they have, they're a little bit behind in the schedule, but there's at least about 21, 22 episodes out there. We come out with a new one almost every week. Um, So check it out, Apple, Spotify, eat your heartland out from Heritage Radio Network. The only way I'm interested in learning about history, finally, through my belly. Through my belly. I love it. I love it it so much. (laughs) Capri, thank you so much. You're welcome back anytime. We're going to make your dish, and we might zoom in with you, and you can talk us through. That's a great idea. Anytime. Thanks so much. (laughs) Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you so much, Capri. (laughs) You too. I love it. That is so wonderful, and her book is amazing, too. All right, coming up. It's record time. Stay right there. Yeah, we're definitely oh, making this. Yeah. What is it on there? Rainier cherry and ginger on yes, salmon. Please. I mean, come on, guys. Yeah, it looks good.